This is lesson 7.1 about ratio and proportion. Okay, a ratio is just a relationship between two values. And uh, there's three ways that we can write a ratio. So the way that you're used to is that we can write a ratio as a fraction. So if I want to say 3 to 5, one way I can show it is a, as a fraction, 3 in the numerator and 5 in the denominator. A second way of showing a ratio is is separating the two values by a colon. So the ratio 3 to 5 could be written like this, 3 colon 5. And then a third way is using words, and we use the word 2. So I could just say 3, 2, 5. And those are all three ways of just saying the ratio 3 to 5. And as an example of how you would use a ratio, suppose you have a recipe that calls for 3 cups of sugar and five cups of flour if you're making cookies or something. I would say my ratio of sugar to flour is three to five. Three cups sugar, five cups flour. Three to five ratio. Next we have a proportion. And a proportion is really, I take two ratios and I set them equal. So a proportion is just an equation that says this ratio equals that ratio. So as an example, if I said um, the ratio 3 to 5, or 3 fifths, is equal to 27 over x, the ratio of 27 to x, I could solve this. Uh, I could solve this ratio. And you know from working with proportions that we can cross multiply to solve them. So if I cross multiply, it means that the product of 3 and x is going to be equal to the product of 5 and 27. So that would be uh, 135. And this would let me solve for x. So dividing by 3, I have x is equal to 45. And we can see why this would be true. The ratio 3 to 5 is the same as the ratio 27 to 45. Okay, because those both have a common factor of Three, and um, and they also have a common factor of nine. Nine being the greatest common factor. If I took 27 over 45 and divided it by by one in the form of nine over nine, in other words, dividing out the common factor of nine, I would get three over five. So you can see that 45 was the correct value for x. So if we want to have some practice putting ratios in simplest form, no matter what form they start out as, your best just to rewrite them as a fraction and then reduce, simplify. In other words, divide both numerator and denominator by common factors. So in A, simplifying 8 over 20, um, I have a common factor of 2 in both of those. And, and so I can simplify this to be 9 over 10. And that's as low as I can go. For B, 5A over 15B. Well, my 5 over my 15 is going to simplify to a 1 over a 3. Because I'm dividing through the common factor of 5. And then the A and the B cannot divide against each other. So I have, and I eliminate that 1. It's invisible when that's a coefficient. So I just end up with A over 3B. Okay, for numbers, for part C, 4n over 8n squared. Well, the 4 over 8 is going to simplify to a 1 over 2. And then the n over n squared, uh, is this is really n times n in the denominator, and this is a single power of n in the numerator. And we know that anything divided by itself is a 1, so that cancels to a 1. And I, I'm going to leave now that 1 in the numerator, because I don't have any other variable, and I can't leave a blank. So I have a 1 in the numerator and a 2n in the denominator. Now for the last one, d, 9x squared over 6x, uh, when I divide out the common factor of 3 from the 9 and the 6, I get a 3 over a 2, and then x squared over x leaves a single power. Well, if I look at it like this, this is x times x, and this is just uh, x to the first, and there's a 1 that I can cancel. So I end up with 3x over 2. 
as my simplified ratio. Okay, so for the last example, just a little word problem, we have the measures of three angles of a triangle have a 2 to 2 to 5 ratio. Find each angle measure. So what this means is that the, the angles, the two of them are the same, and one's a little bigger. The, the one that has the ratio has, is uh, 5. So what I do is I make, um, I just let x kind of be like one part. I make x equal to one part, and I can, I can say 2 to, uh, 2 to 5 can be represented as a 2x and a 2x and a 5x. So I'm going to add a 2x plus a 2x plus a 5x and say all together that equals 180 degrees, which is the sum of the measures of the interior angles of the triangle. So then I'm adding this up, and I get 2 plus 2 plus 5, which is 9x is equal to 180. So x is equal to 20. So now I know that one angle is an angle, as a, the 2x angle has a measure of 2 times 20, or 40 degrees. And there's also another one that's 2x, or 40 degrees. And then there's a third angle that is 5 times 20. 20 just sort of being, representing x, being sort of like one part. And so that would be uh, 100 degrees. And there we go. There is our full 180 degrees. And we can see that if we took those back, it, they do have a 2 to 2 to 5 ratio. If I divided out the 10 on each of those, and I looked at those as a 4 to 4 to 10 ratio, and then simplified, I would be back to 2 to 2 to 5 when I divided out the common factor of 2, which checks. So that's how you work with ratio and proportion.